Welcome back, everyone. It's almost like time has not even passed. I'm Vale, and welcome to Yes, Your Grace. <clears throat> Man, it feels like it's been 24 hours uh, since I had a sip of water. Anyhow, conclude this week. This is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. Fair enough. You can buy upgrades fixes for the kingdom in this left section. Okay. To buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name and you will see the cost added to the summary. Stan the General requires 9 gold. That's pretty expensive, but he's I've sent him out, so that's good. Taxes, grain, minus 5, broken theater. Hmm. Okay. Fix the pantry roof. Supplies penalty. <sighs> Repair theater. Oh, oh, now I see. For some reason, I thought that was something else. Okay. What do I think is the best course of action? If we fix all of these, uh, although, I don't know. So we have a minus 12 no matter what. So that's minus 12 plus 2. But the market stalls no matter what will give us minus 7. We have to, f my gamer instincts are telling me that I need to fix all debuffs initially. The appeasement doesn't matter. So long as we get rid of all that's negate, like all the financial stuff, that's fine. Save and continue. Fixing stuff. I do not invest into weddings. I invest into food and money. <laughs> that's how things go. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, let's organize this how I thought. A Radovan soldier. Okay. Okay, Larissa. Ina. I bring news, father. Ewan. Asulia sneaked out at night last week. Unufuna. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber. Oh, laughing and a little tipsy, I think. Ewan. She wouldn't say where she's been, but Sedani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me. In the morning. Those two chit chat all the time. They think I don't realize. They don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lorisilla? Asiria sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Audrey, did you know about any of this? No, your grace. I'd better talk to Asiria about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. Okay. Lord Etten. Who the he? My name is Etten, yeah. I'm the Lord of Francia, your grace. Is that? I will be as straightforward as possible. Is that all? Someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. Is that all? The thing is, is that all right? I track them down and I know where they are keeping her. What are they? I've planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her Is back. Right? Or I could just pay right the Either way, I will need your help, your grace. General. Boy, boy. Uh... He is a lord. He's high in my pro. <clears throat> He's very high in my priorities. Gold. Wait. Does that do? Better play it safe so that they do not harm your daughter. Yes, her safety is the most important thing. Thank you, Your Grace. I will let you know how it goes. Uh, let's talk to the general. 
No sign of monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Red Ed Crest of Radovia. I thought you could only find them in the books and old manuscripts. Well, seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Radovia? Your manner's right. Radovia is my home. And soon yours, too. <laughs> Why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Who's your leader? Oi. The other king? Okay, what the... Or are you just a barbaric thief? Oh, we are free people. Jadzi. We don't bow to a king or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. <sighs> Bold and stupid. I've heard enough. Oi, but why? We can't allow barbarians to talk our lands. Oi, Plundering and killing innocent men. There's no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Hmm. Throw him in the dungeon. Da. Rot in a cell. Don't want to let me go, but you don't have the guts to kill. My friends will gather. We'll gladly hear about your cowardly decisions. I will need to see him really about this. Audrey. What is it, Audrey? Hi. Radovians, here. Oh. How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? There are a lot of questions, but I need to answer. But I need answers, Audrey. Why? Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends. See who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would be certain to fix. I'll make some preparations. Okay, we are really not ready for war. So I need to avoid any confrontation at all. Gotta stick with that. Uh, Pietro. Prepetine? Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who are they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I, I better keep be going. Strange. What is it? Sulubu. Your grace, my son is nowhere to be found. Pacifer. Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he's my son. I asked to help you. I asked that you help us find him. Your grace, is there any chance you'd do so? My general will help you. That boy. He will ask around and see if he can track your son down. Hey! Happiness! <laughs> I hope he is still in peace. You have my thanks, Your Grace. Yes, I am a good king! Okay, let's leave! Okay, so. Bed chambers, garden. So it's the blue ones that are important. Fair enough. Wait a minute, nope. My most important thing? Peasants! Have you considered letting me out, Your Grace? You also spared my life for a reason, you know. It's been a week. You've had enough. I hope you've learned your lesson. You may leave. Really? The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Thank you, Your Grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it.
Hey, soldier. Zodaya. I didn't think a king would come down to the donkeys. Zodaya. An honor, truly. That's all for now. Boy, yeah. You'll stay here for a while longer. Maybe you'll be of use. Boy, does he? Sure, as long as I don't die from boredom first. Boy. How can I help your grace? Just looking around. Uta. Uh, let's go to the garden. Hey, yes, Aaliyah. What's up? Enrobo? Yes, father. There was a wedding in the village. What about you? I heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village just outside the walls. It wasn't bad, but I think it could have been better if my father was a bit less dingy. I wish you'd come ask me first. Hey, what? I'm not angry, I just wanted to be safe. Okay. Why would you be mad? Okay. Is it because I went to the market? Okay. Come on now, I know about the wedding. Yeah, boy. No, Sylvia told me about what happened. Mm. How would you know anything? <laughs> oh, of course, Sidani. Oh. Sidani. I'm worried about you. Hey, boy. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have no need to worry, nothing will happen. Cool. Do you know what's happened? What's out there? Boy, that boy. What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in the village? Boy. All the drunkard thugs. <laughs> nothing happened, father. <laughs> I was dressed differently, I was careful, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Gaba. <laughs> oh, Celia. Said you got drunk. <laughs> That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself how many times? Hmm. Oh, no, Since she turned 13, she thinks she, you will make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it will be good for her best. Is that, oh. Is that so? It doesn't change the fact that she's just a... If it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling, you are confined to the castle. You know what? No more playing games or no more horse riding. No more horse riding. Bad boy, yeah. I'll tell Audrey to spend your riding lessons for now. Just in case you had any idea to ride off to Crassus or Calador. What am I supposed to do inside these godforsaken walls? Yes, the best punishment. Ah, stupid Larissa, I'll teach her a lesson. Boy. Stop with the names. Die. <laughs> oh, what will I do with you? I think that's what he's going to say. Yes. Honestly, that was like the best option out of all of them. I love it. Swords. Nice swords. Ooh, a cat. That's the... Who's a good cat? <laughs> oh, Sulia. Oh, it's you. Asuria told me what's going on. Iba Dabo. Asuria told me why you might be down here recently. Fana. Oh, and why is that? You have to get married at some age. Iba Dabo. You're a princess and every princess needs a prince. Iba Dabo. Getting upset and not taking and talking to us won't help. But I can promise that we will take it slow. In. Time will show. I'll check on you later. I mean, that's kind of true. In this world, everyone's a bargaining uh, piece if you're part of royalty. That's kind of how it goes, isn't it? Even nowadays, even if you own land, own anything, you kind of have to hold yourself to these facts. Even if you don't believe so. A piece inside of everyone 
kind of is bound to that. That's kind of the reason why a lot of people won't ever marry out of love, but marry out of riches or fame. Tabua. The Grey Mountains. Tabua. They seem much bigger in real life than they are in the paintings. Aurelia. Inkana. Dali. Four barbarians visit us this week. Wadarabiwa. Wadovians have come to Dwarven. One of the bandits is, was brought to the castle. A band! This can't be right. A band? Umbal. Do you think it's about your our promise? Yeah, boy. It might be. What do you think? Vanilla. Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child and to a thug. Boy? The rain was hit. Does it matter? Alana. After thirteen years of Wadovian shows up to our, in our castle. Kaba. We'll be damned. Akanula. Yes. No. No, Sule. We'll soon become a woman. And we will need to find a little husband. And the rain, the villain will arrive to make us make me fulfill my promise. What now? Or what are we going to do? Kubasina. If the rain ever shows up to claim my daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe them. Kuiwoya. We just need to play stupid. Unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can How could the Dovians get so dropped to Dava? Anything seems possible at this stage. We did send the bandit to the dungeons. Maybe you could question him and see what he knows. I will see what I can do. How are you holding up? Uva. It seems so unreal. Marrying a prince and lord? Even. Yes, but marry. Let her marry a thug. We can't do this. We'll be fine. Don't let them take her away. I'll see you later. I am terrible. I can handle this. Well, we did make a promise. Yes, you do look tired. I'm just old. Let's go to the dungeons and question you! Enough of the games. Tell me why you're here. Why? I suppose that's one way of killing, and... I guess that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see, the rain, the lunatic, thinks everyone will follow him. <laughs> Keeps raving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance at mingling with the royals. I still can't decide if he's the map one, or is it his followers who believe this bunk, who are really insane. His followers. That's dangerous. That's all for now. You will stay here a while longer. Maybe, maybe you'll be of use. Okay. He has followers. I have one general. That's not good. That is really not good. Go into the throne room. Sit on the throne. Wake the week. I have 12 gold. So, new market styles, broken theater. The discontent is fine. I need emergency gold. That's the thing. Revno, week three. Ooh, a pigeon. Hello there. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with their strength. Rain, the king of Redovia. So they do have a king after all. And here there's a king and army follows. And where a king? Oh. What promise are they babbling about anyway? To take my daughter's hand. How? You never mentioned it, your grace. I didn't think I would have to keep my word. We can't let the barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the audits, and I will make some preparations in the meantime. 
I will be in your council chamber, Your Grace. I don't intend to fight this war. I don't have an army that I can call upon. And I'm doubtful that my allies would do the same, because... Well, seeing as things are going... I don't want to waste Doi. potential Kuwaka. allies. We are all pawns in this game. Hello, merchant. I come with business position, your grace. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Brazil. I may know it, though. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned as many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tavern will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I get started making on making on the business. Investments. Dubai. Take the gold and let the business grow. Okay, but oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, Your Grace. I will get right on with the work. Keep it, keep it Eight solid tables, 13 beds. We could make a, we could make a cheaper shared chamber. Key. Oh, it's going to work well. This is why you bargain with merchants. I'm out of gold now, but not bad. Oh, but, uh... Your Grace and Justice will... Uh, and hunger have struck okay, our village. Babe. Men dressed in black came and took off stock. Hardly left worth giving to the I wanted to kindly ask for gold. Biba. Or five stacks of supplies. Biba, rice. Okay. That way we can at least keep our children fed. Take the supplies. Go ahead. This will be enough to keep us going for a couple weeks. Thank you. <laughs> Gods favor you. Yes. I'm a good king. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's serious, but I don't think, but fever and sneezes are all over the place. It appeared out of nowhere. And if a dark force brought it upon us. If it's not that serious, I'm sure it can wait. Oh, yeah. Maybe just that the recent days were a little colder than usual. Oh. I am a king! <laughs> Is there anything to do this week? Oh, there is. Hey, Sedani. What's up, girl? Oh, hey there. She's not ugly, silly pickle. I think for reasons known, I'm going to go with a pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. Hey. Pumpkin? Hey, pack. That's new, I like it. Hello. Your grace, you shouldn't be playing here. We buy. Said Danny, I always tell you not to play here. Hello. But this is my most cherished place in the cat fortress. Hello. Oh, you have the most finest items here, father. Hello. Please let me stay here. Alana. I won't break anything, I promise. Fine, you can stay. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't damage it. Oh, yes, thank you. For your grace. Hola, Let's see what else is here. Honestly, it's very good for her to read. If she's out in the garden, then honestly, anything could happen. Like, if there's like an arrow stray, like. Pew. Dead. Danger. Hey. Books are very Cabo valuable. Boy. Uh, yeah. It's good. From what I Go know ahead. about history, books are exceptionally important. Uh, Audrey. Your Grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Hey, oh, Meanwhile, we should invite King Tallies. He might be able to help. King Tallies. Here you can view details of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. He was only one button. Oh. Tally should visit, visit, uh, visit us within a week. Eva. With his army, we should be able to repel Lugatovo. Madovia. Why? No matter what they come with. Oi. Thank you, Audrey. Mm. 
I don't believe that I should, like, I don't, I can't afford that a would. war. That's like the least, first of all, you don't owe someone a favor. Second of all, you give out the favors. Third of all, don't, whatever you do, borrow an army, because it's not your army. It's like the, it's, it's so foolish. We're losing happiness, that's not good. But I couldn't, I didn't want to give away those supplies. Hey, General. Hey, Grace. I found the son of the peasant. He was lost in a nearby forest looking for a He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength soon enough. Well, that's good. Always, always, always. Talk to my people, my general. Yeah, I'll do. That's all. I don't want to know about the battle. Uh, Lord Eden. Oh, yeah, I helped you. My daughter is back. I've paid these thugs the ransom. I was nervous as ever in my life, but surprisingly, it won't work smoothly. They got what they wanted. I don't think it will be a problem anymore. As a thank you, I actually scrapped together some gold. Take this. Gold! That's why you do that. That's why you help. I'm here representing Bank da Florentini. I hear that your treasury has been better. Has seen better times. But I'm here to help. How does this work? We understand that sometimes it's hard to be a king and we want to do our best to help. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a surge of gold or supplies, whichever you may be in need of. Our exclusive package offers 50 gold or supplies instantly available for your use. The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in a weekly amount of 100 and weekly amount of 10 until you pay off your debt, your grace. We won't charge you any additional costs. Oh, one last thing. We only do one type of loan at a time. So if you want to borrow gold or you need supplies, uh, buy special. And remember, the first loan is free of charge. So, if the first loan is free of charge, that means that I would just be paying 10 gold every single turn. So that means it's just gold for emergency and I can just let that ride. Zoom. Seeing that there is a war coming and I don't know how often this guy comes by, I want to borrow gold. Free of charge. I honestly don't know what's going to happen next week, so I will take it. That's all for now. Bank de Florentini is always happy to help. Hey, King Tallies. Hardly any light can get through these windows. Oh, yeah. His halls used to shine, Eric. <laughs> Father! <laughs> look what she said. Look what she did. <laughs> Acelia has put feces, feces under my pillow. How could I ever wash it off? <laughs> Why did you tell her I told her? I told on her. Can you not see we have a guest? Go back to your chambers now. There are always people in here. We'll deal with the latter. Go off for now. If you can't even control your own children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And that I'm still standing where I am. Forgive me. We have had a lot going on with you. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Yeah, boy. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the in the council room. 
supply here, we... You have a lot of books. So why I have What is she doing in here? Are you letting children play with your archives? But I don't. Go, be gone. So why I... Are you a king or a blasted nanny, Eric? Sorry, Koi. What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? Be by one. I'll be straightforward with this. Koi, we are. I need an army, Radivon. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. Fine. Rodovia here? Dabawa. Yes, they. Oh, yeah, that. They're simple men, untrained. Oh, yeah. Tell you what. Blood of you, why? I'll give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw at us. Oi. Just like that. And so why? Yeah, of course, let me see. Blood of you. My son Evo has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. Play, I. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. Blood of you. A wife would keep him busy out of my way. Day with Sido. A studio would be good enough for Blood him. Blood of you. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. So I... Plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife. Her condition hasn't improved. Sado, well, that doesn't concern you. You get an army, I get Lucilia and access to these books. So an army for marriage in return. Will you explain? Yes, of course. You catch on quickly. I'll send my armies right away. But we'll do it on my terms. Back up away. I can't just let you take my daughter for a few hundred men. Flatty. Come on, Eric. We both know Davin has seen better times. Oh, yeah, when Rodovia comes, who will they protect? Your people? Your family? Wait, who will protect your people? Are you going to order peasants to fight them with pitchforks? Here's the thing. Oh, it's just the soldiers. It's just... You know... I don't... I don't want this deal. What happened to making choices? You'll provide a general because a general is pretty good. Boy? Be boy? Flatia. How about I just pay for one of yours? Boy. I'll send an army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized Sad better. Boy. Let me get lost in your books. Then I will start with this room. Oh, yeah. Fine, you can find me in the throne room if you need me. It's Let's see, what do we have here? Nice! But... Oh! I can invite someone named Ada. That's good. Uh, that, there's such a big problem that I don't want. I don't like King Talus. He's kind of a... He's... I really don't like him. I'll invite Ada. Let's see. Cool, yeah. Nothing but rubbish. But, uh, yeah. I see, I see, I see. But, I will see. Yep, yeah. hold on. Let's go over to the castle wall. Talk to the general. Do you want? Your grace. That's all. Cool. Do I? Give it the good work. <laughs> Stun. That gold buff, though, I'm getting a lot of gold. I'm hoping I can make good investments. In it. Oh, it's you. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, boy, yeah. You must marry Ivo, the prince of Atana. It's... Good. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider any other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this. You can't wait a bit longer for me, can you? 
I wish I was a common girl living in a village having nothing to worry about. Being able to marry the one I love. Not some snob I've never met. <laughs> stupid wedding, stupid prince. You're stupid. Yeah. Hey, cat. Hey. <laughs> Ivo was a prince after all, and if Lorisia is married to Ivo, then the rain can't do anything. Tell us all we might simply scare them away. Oh, this is fantastic news, Eric. Wonderful. Hmm. Who's going to prepare the wedding? Guests, menus? We need to decorate the flowers. We need to buy flowers and decorations. Oh, and we need to... We need a band too. I'll take care of that. We'll see how our treasury looks at the end of the week. Does Lord Surya know yet? Oh. Yes, she didn't take it too well. Anna. Oh, but what does she know? Umbal. She's She wouldn't want to marry that barbaric baron. Kapibas. Who knows what red villains do with their wives? Janabala. Wouldn't surprise me if they cut them up and eat them for dinner the, day, the next day. Ivana. You have a time. She'll come around to the idea. Oh, you want to know? Hey, she's gonna sleep well. Hey, Hang on, no. Everything's on my head. What shall we eat? Where's the dress? Blah, 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 blah. I'll see you later. I, need... I think things will turn out perfectly. Aba. Get some rest. Anna. Okay, I'll just leave it. Aba. Aba. Go. The voices remind me of a game, uh... uh I can't remember what it's called, though. Ages of Empire. That's what it's called. Let's sit on the throne and end it here. Thank you all for joining me today. I'll be having another episode up tomorrow of this same game. So if you enjoy this, hop on by. But until then, I'll see you tomorrow. I've been Vale. Goodbye.